Cheryl and Allen, just moments ago, we were informed by the mayor's office that Eddie Johnson has officially retired effective immediately. When the mayor fired him on Monday, it was from his position as superintendent, demoting Johnson back to lieutenant. That meant his retirement papers had to be resubmitted. Today, Johnson did that, and tonight he is no longer on the force, but there are still concerns about transparency in this investigation. The night of October 16th, Eddie Johnson was seen on video drinking three rum and cokes at the Ceres Cafe with Cynthia Donald, a member of his security detail who he is seen kissing. Hours later, Johnson was found asleep behind the wheel of his unmarked SUV near his Bridgeport home. When approached by two police officers, Johnson showed them his police ID, said he was fine, and drove home, the entire exchange lasting about a minute. I believe that there was a concerted effort uh, within the department um, to protect Eddie Johnson, to help get him to the finish line with as much dignity as possible. The Inspector General will do his investigation and make his findings known. Uh, if there was what, such a thing, then we'll, we'll deal with it at the appropriate time. But right now, I don't have any evidence of such. Johnson announced his retirement last month, but was fired Monday for lying to the mayor about that night. Should the mayor release all of the IG's report and all the videos when this investigation is done? I, uh, absolutely. I believe, I, I'm a strong believer of that. I am, I am Mr. Transparency. I think the mayor has been consistent on wanting to put the information out, and I think that what you'll see is she's, she may, uh, uh, may, may make a decision to let all that stuff out. But the inspector general is still conducting his investigation. At least eight officers have been interviewed, including Cynthia Donald, but Eddie Johnson has not been questioned. Do you have concern that this is going to hurt morale in TBD? I don't know. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people like Eddie. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of changes. I just hope that it don't. At this point, it appears the inspector general may not release his summary report on this case until April. And there are questions tonight about just what Mary Lightfoot will be able to release under the law. There may be some restrictions that will not put everything out there like some people would like to see. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.